Hi guys, welcome to a new video. Today we're going to look at um, potting up this uh, small portulacaria Afra into a bonsai container. Um, it's been growing in this pot for I don't even know how long. Several months, maybe. Uh, I, I might have put it in there this summer, but um, it looks like it needs a, a repot, so I thought I would go ahead and just try to put it into a container today. Bring you guys along. So first we'll uh, just put this lid up here to catch the soil, get it, get it out of here and see what the roots look like. Looks like we got some decent roots to to work with. Got some drainage screen here. Try to get out of there without. There we go. That worked. So I'll set this aside as I shake off the rest of the soil. There we go. So now, um, I think I might do a little little pruning on it before we get it potted up. I like the uh, semi cascade kind of look. I'm not sure I like this branch in the back that's kind of sticking up there. So I think we'll we'll remove that first. And there's a little stump here. We'll go ahead and clean that up. And I'm not sure if we'll leave these two or not. I'm not sure I like this straight up look of this one or this one that's kind of leaning back, but I think I might get it in the pot first and then kind of make, make that decision. So I've got a few different pots here. We'll just kind of try them out and see what what looks the best. Here's this one, which I think would work. This other one here. Which I think would also work. I think they're all gonna work. It's just Trying to decide which one looks the best. This one might be a little bit too big. Because I want to keep this tree pretty small. And I don't want the pot to overpower it. Even though this pot's a little bigger, um, I just like the way it looks. Especially since it's kind of a semi cascade, having a taller pot kind of looks nice. And I think this one's too too low and a little bit too big, so I think we'll set that one aside. I'm just trying to decide on between these other ones here. This isn't bad. Just don't know if I want to keep the tree up more upright like that or go ahead and let it cascade over. <clears throat> Actually kind of like the leaning it over a little bit like that, letting it cascade off the edge of the pot. Yeah. I like that look. Letting it cascade. Uh, this 
still trying to decide. I like this unglazed pot, but I just don't know if it's too big. I definitely have enough space for the roots to continue to grow. I kind of actually do like that, so I think I'm going to go with with this one. I'll just let it cascade over the edge like that. So that's the one we'll go with. So we'll go ahead and set these aside. I don't know, this this would probably work too since it's about the same height. I don't know, I still like the the unglazed one, so I think we'll we'll go with that. Alright, there's a drainage hole in the bottom, so we'll go ahead and put some screen back in. And for the soil, I'll just use my um, Akadama and lava mix, but this is one that I've sifted down to where the particle size is really small. If you can see that, I'll try to get in a little closer, but you can see how, how tiny the particle sizes are. Which work well for, for these small trees, these small pots. See how much we need in there. Bring a little bit more. I think I'll let it rest, kind of. Right on the edge of the pot like that. To give it that true cascade look. I guess semi-cascade. I think that works just fine. I think once I get some water in that soil, it'll add a little weight and kind of settle the, the roots in. I like that. Um, now, the decision is to I think I'm going to go ahead and cut these branches off to let it be more of a, a cascade. We'll get rid of this one here. Clean that up a little bit. I think I'll go ahead and remove this one too. Yeah. Oh, 
Ouais, tout à l'heure, il y a eu. Add a little bit more soil to that. Yeah, I think that looks looks pretty good. And those cut marks will callus over and, and give it more of that uh, gnarly, rugged look. Yeah, I think that'll work and uh, that just about does it. We'll go sit it on the, uh, the bonsai shelf. So I think we will let this little guy live right there for the meantime amongst all of his other friends give a little bit of water and let him continue to uh, grow on. So I think that'll about do it for today's video. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one.